Hey, um, hey, I've been, I've been really torn, uh, torn about YouTube. Torn is the key word. <sighs> See, I'm just nervous just talking about this. I've been really torn up about YouTube. Like, I want to get on, and then when I get on, I'm like afraid to listen, listen to people's videos, and I do, and there's, I just, there's so much anger. And I feel like, like I'm, I want to, I want to do it. I want to put myself through it and feel it. And I just feel so much pain, so much suffering when I get on. I feel like I feel it for me. I'm suffering when I get on and, and experience it. And then I guess, you know, I brought this, I created this situation. I brought this on myself. I decided to put videos online about this, about what I'm going through. Like exposing myself to the world. So now I'm dealing with that and it's really intense. And that's why I've been so fucking nervous while I've been making these videos. And that's why I had so many questions and no fucking answers. Normally I'm able to answer my own questions and that's what's constructive about going through the process. But like, man, watching all those questions, I was just like, had this filthy feeling at the end, just pain. Just pain and confusion. That's what I feel. That's what I really feel when I get on and listen to people tell me to not be with Amanda because I know I want to communicate and make things work and I know that I can and I know that, you know, we are. When we, when we connect, when we talk about everything, the, the sex, what we feel, what we individually feel, our emotions, our individual emotions, independence, a codependency, living apart, living together, Everything that we've discussed, breaking up, you know, it, there is no right answer. Talking about like the different lives that we could have, that we have had, what we really want. I really want to be with her and connect with her and work past issues, which is why I brought it up. I didn't bring it up because I want to end the relationship. I did it because I was so afraid. I did it. It was like shame. I did it once when I was like 20 or 21. And then me and Amanda broke up and I was like, this is it. We broke up for two years after that. I really believed like we're done. And then we got back together and I never told her about that first one in two, when I was 21 or 22 or 23 or something. Okay, so I was a little older. But it was like the first time that I did that. Well, I kissed a girl in New York that I told Amanda about. When she was living in Ohio, I was living in New York. It was really extreme, but, you know, I've just always kind of done it because I was never attractive as a kid. I never had... People weren't interested. Girls weren't... I mean, I had, like, girlfriends, but, like, not... Girls weren't interested. Maybe I wasn't interested. Maybe I just... I was afraid. And then girls started taking interest. Well, then I got with Amanda, and girls still didn't seem all that interested. And then, once I was with Amanda for a while, I started to understand women. And then, women started to be interested, because I understood women a little better. And now, then, I just, I got to a point where I understood women, and like, women wanted to have sex with me. It was crazy. It was crazy. I just gotta, ex I gotta accept the situation. I have to accept the situation and just embrace the fact that, you know, sexuality is, is unimportant. It's too dangerous. It's, it's excessive in a way. I'd much rather just communicate. I told Amanda that today. I said, I'm not with you because I want to fuck you anymore. good to talk about this from my perspective I don't want to talk about it too much from her perspective I know it's killing you guys you you that she you don't know what she's she doesn't make videos and I want her to make videos I told her you should you it would be amazing people can hear what you feel all this like unknown all this all this these quest you know this ambiguity just like the blind fear of just leave. 
it can all be assuaged with through communication. It can be. It completely can be. It can always be worked out. Always, always, always. Everything can. And everything can be changed. And everyone can change in any way. I can change. And I'm going to. And I am. I did. I changed when I realized this stuff. When I realized that being open about it is the key. And not drinking alcohol. That's the key. No fear. If I'm attracted to a woman, I tell Amanda about it. And that's the way it's got to be. And I'm ready for that challenge. I think it's part of the growth process. See you later.